really don't know what Christmas is all about. Hey y'all, so guess who has been up since 3 a.m.? Yes, Navy decided that she needed to poop, which is totally fine. When you gotta go, you gotta go. This isn't, like, normally she sleeps through the night, but sometimes she just has to go to the bathroom, and that's fine. I change her diaper, and if she doesn't wake up, she'll normally sleep till about 6 or 6.30. If she wakes up in the middle of the night, then typically I'll just go ahead and feed her since she's already up, even though she feels like going back to bed I just keep her up to feed her a little bit and then that way she'll kind of sleep until about eight so that's what I did last night and she decided that she didn't she didn't want to go back to sleep she was cooing we talked she karate chopped me and karate kicked me a couple of times it was a lot of fun then you know she decided she wanted to do some yoga around 4 45 and she decided she wanted to try gymnastics around 5 15 but she was just like bed what's that sleep don't know her so yeah i've been up and then finally around eight she you know she stayed up for five hours i was like okay i guess i'm not going back to sleep and then i was like trevor it's time for you to get up and watch your daughter. But I just like scrolled through Facebook really quick because I had a bunch of messages and I had some text messages from my mom. Just kind of going through my phone really quick. And while I was on Facebook, I stumbled upon a sale ad for Bath and Body Works. I was going to go there today anyway because I'm gonna be shopping for like stocking stuffers. And I wanted to get stuff from Bath and Body Works for Trevor for his stocking. And I was like, oh great, body care is on for $5.95 instead of like $14, which it normally is. And then I saw that it's only until noon, from 6 a.m. to noon. And I was like, well, had I known that I was already up, I would have been there at the crack of dawn. I left Trevor with the kids. <laughs> and bolted out the door and so yeah now i'm on my way to get him some stocking stuffers i haven't been to a bath and body works in a really long time like probably a couple years i i'm normally not that into that place i mean i love their candles normally trevor goes to get the candles He's more of a candle fiend than I am. He absolutely loves them. And I love smelling candles, but like he'll just go to the store to get stuff and then randomly bring home candles because he just feels like we need new candles. So I'm not, I haven't always been like that. I'm more of like a seasonal candle person and Trevor's like an all year, every day of the week candle person. But I've been hearing great things about their men body care stuff so that's why I decided I wanted to add that into Trevor's stocking this year I've never really smelled them or tested them or anything like that I've only ever smelled their candles going there to check those out today but yeah I'm sorry again that I didn't post a vlogmas video yesterday I just Trevor and I both were just struggling yesterday he we didn't do a single Thing. I slept until about 12 and he took like a three and a half to four hour nap with the baby and the only thing that I actually did was announce the winner for the Christmas giveaway and then I went to the post office to get it delivered. You know, you do know that the left hand is for people that go over the speed limit, correct? Not the speed limit or under, it's for people that go quicker than that anyway after I delivered the gift to the post office I came back home we didn't cook anything we just ordered all our food and yeah we watched reruns of the office and that was pretty much it oh well we did get our son yeah I got kale from school but yeah that was the laziest we've been in a while and it was so nice and I wanted to film I kept telling myself I should film something today and I just could not, like, I, I couldn't, I couldn't get into it. And I did want to put out a video that was just kind of like half-assed. If I'm going to put something out, I want to like the content that I put out there. So, at the end of the day, if I don't feel like it's a good video, even though I said I wanted to do Vlogmas, I'm, I'm not going to post it just because I don't 
I don't want to upload something that I'm not really like excited about. But I'm here today and I'm hoping to find some good things. And it's actually cold today, y'all. My gloves on, I got an ear warmer. I figured I needed to dress somewhat warm because I might be standing outside. It is 37 degrees outside and I don't have a jacket. I don't know, I feel like Texans, we don't really wear jackets. We kind of just wear sweaters and like layers of shirts because at some point it's probably, even though it's 37 degrees right now, it's probably going to be 75 degrees at noon. She's just so bipolar. It's gonna be one, you know, season at the first part of the day and then we'll go through the rest of the seasons throughout the day. So there's gonna be summer at some point. Y'all, there is not a line at all. I'm so excited. Why did I bother putting on chapstick? I'm putting on a mask. That, that made no sense. Good, honey. bought more than I went in there for. Okay, so in my defense, I haven't been there, like I said, in a few years. And if their stuff didn't smell so good, I wouldn't have gotten sidetracked and bought things for myself. But I did buy Trevor some stuff while I was in there. So I ended up getting him the graphite scent. This is the one that smelled the best to me and I'm gonna be the one smelling him, so but I got him the body wash and the spray. It smells really good. I was gonna get him more, but I didn't really like the scents of the others. Maybe I couldn't smell them that well just because I was wearing a mask. That's the one that I could smell the most and to me smell the best. I wanted to get him like a variety of scents, but I don't know, I just didn't like them or I couldn't really smell them. So I didn't bother buying them. I spent like $45, which is a lot for body care, but compared to what it normally would have been, it probably would have cost me $100 for all this stuff because they're so freaking expensive. Like $7.50 for hand soap? What? It just smelled so good, and I needed hand soap anyway for the bathrooms. Definitely could have just got some, you know, like at Walmart for probably $2 or even like 98 cents if you go with the dial or whatever. But, you know, we're in the wintry, Christmassy, vlogmas mood, so we spent $5 on hand wash instead. And I did get some things for myself. I'm really big into, like, trying to smell good lately. It's, like, the only thing I have going for me right now, so I ended up getting... The frosted coconut, coconut. Okay. The frosted coconut body wash for myself. It. Oh, I don't know. I'm not a big coconut person. But there's just something about this that makes me say yummy. And I want Trevor to smell me and say yummy, so I got it. And then I got the body mist to go along with it to smell like a whole dessert. And then I really liked this sweater weather. It's more of like I feel. A little bit more like it has a masculine touch to it but still feminine at the same time you know what I'm saying like to me this is a very feminine scent and I feel like I should go back in and get the body wash hmm. would that be weird how often do the body care cells happen is it often crap yeah, I think I'm going to go back in because I, I really like these and I kind of want to just like switch it up. I was randomly watching TikTok videos on YouTube and I was watching like body care stuff that you could buy off of Amazon and people would have these videos of doing their body care. But in the background, they would have like this whole shelf of different body washes and body exfoliator scrubs and things like that and i was like wow that's inspiring imagine having a new body wash every day of the week like a just a new scent whatever you're feeling i want to be like them when i grow up so i feel like i'm gonna go in and buy the other body wash because 
One day I might feel like being a frosted coconut snowball. The other day I might feel like being sweater weathery. So I think, yeah, I think I'm gonna go back in. And this turned out to be mostly a trip for myself. Maybe I'll just put these in my stockings and call it a day. Okay, I'm back. That took a little bit longer. One, because a hundred more people decided to show up and they started to get a line. But also one of the workers, she started crying and then she just passed out. It was scary and I felt so bad for her. I don't know why she was crying. I don't know if she just had like a hard day before that and it just started getting to her or if it was because of all the people. Bath and Body Works is such a small store. I don't know if other places it's bigger, but here it's just so compacted and then they have all these people in there and like it's hot. And so I don't know if she just got overwhelmed. I know for me, I had to get out of retail because of that alone. I could not stand working during the holidays because there was just so much people. And I'm very, like, I get very anxious and I get, I don't want to say claustrophobic, but I don't like being surrounded by a bunch of people. And that's why I didn't really film too much in there because it started getting crowded and I just wanted to get in and get out. And so I don't know if that's why she passed out. I don't know, but I just felt so bad for her. She just started crying and then um, she fainted. So the paramedics came and we waited for that. But I did end up going in and they didn't have the same like canister for body wash for the sweater weather. I don't really like the reason that it's not in the same canister is if because if people would read the um words on the front of the bottles before they buy them they would see that this is body cream not body wash well i'm irritated i'm not going to go back in i don't want to return this I, I didn't even see the same bottles for body wash so i don't even think they have it i'm so bummed i didn't want the body cream mm. and i don't know why i'm like this but i got a whole other scent i got the fresh sparkling snow and the body wash and the spray y'all these smell so good if trevor doesn't want to lick me after using one of these bad boys then i'm gonna throw a fit just kidding my husband would lick me regardless my husband would snuggle with me after a long day at the gym and being so sweaty and disgusting he just wants to be next to me gonna go to target and go into the dollar section see if i can get trevor a power bank and see if i can find some stuff for kill there yeah let's go to the next store oh the little popper oh he's got a sweater he's a baby i want a new popper so bad <laughs> yeah i'm trying to convince trevor either give me another baby or another pupper one of the two but i'm gonna need one of them here pretty soon okay my baby fever is really high so i need a baby dog or a baby boy yes i specified boy because i think one girl is enough can like i i can just see her future already and you know i think one I, I think one girl is going to be just fine i would love to have another boy if i'm gonna have another baby i know that's god's work but i'm just putting it out there in the universe for him to think about <laughs> something for kale already they have these build your own car and build your own helicopter kits he loves to build things it's one of his favorite pastimes so i think i'm gonna get him those i want two pairs of kid socks for him and then i was thinking about i saw this ultrasonic portable humidifier i was thinking that would be kind of cool to put in Trevor's stocking, but I'm not quite sold on this yet. So I'm gonna think about that. Oh my gosh, yes. I've never seen this before, but they have yoga mat spray in a calming lavender and a cool peppermint. I bet you can spray this on your linens too, but I've never seen yoga mat spray. Clarity and what was yeah, relax. Isn't that cute? I wonder how good they smell. I don't do yoga, but if you have someone that does and you want to give them a stocking stuffer, Target Dollar Section has yoga mat spray.
listen. Wow. Target is like a black hole. I don't know how I just spent a hundred dollars. Okay, but I'm really so excited. Look, look what I got. And I got lactation cookies for myself because I needed more. Also got more face masks. They were 30% off. And the only reason I got more face masks, you guys, was because the ones I bought last time, if you watched my previous day in life video or whatever video it was, the mask that I got for Trevor and I, I got large and extra large because I'm thinking, okay, small and medium is for like teenagers. I guess in my head, when you get past teenager age, your head is bigger. I don't know if that's how it works, but they're way too big. You see, like I'm constantly holding it up like this to cover my nose, but they're just way too big for us. And I figured I couldn't return them because they were face mask. And so I've just kind of been dealing with it, but it started to get really annoying. So I was like, let me just get new face masks for us because they're $2 normally, but they were 30% off. So I got myself this one. And then this one came in a two pack, but I couldn't really find one to fit Trevor that was more masculine. So I guess I kind of have two, but this one comes with like a plain plaid, black and white plaid. And then it comes with like this cute little, I don't know, they kind of look like watermelons or whatever design. But so I got uh, some face mask, reusable face mask that will actually fit. So that was things that I just needed, but for the stocking stuffers. Okay, well, I found a power bank. I was hoping to find one in the dollar section, but they didn't have any. This one was only $10 though, but I got Trevor a power bank. He loves Fortnite and he's always talking about like buying things on Fortnite. So I got him this. I, I, don't, I don't understand, I don't play the game, but I figured he likes to buy things on there and is always talking about wanting to buy things. So I figured I'd just get him this. It's really hard for me to shop for Trevor right now because he's going to be leaving and I don't know how to get him things because he won't be using it for a year, but he plays almost every morning. Like after he takes Kale to school and the baby and I are still sleeping, that's his like him time. He plays <laughs> video games. So I figured he'd play this every morning until he leaves. So got him that. And then I got him this card game called Buzzed. So I told you guys we really like having game night and things like that. This is obviously not for Kale to play, but it's something that him and I can do or when he is around and we have like our friends over, you know, back when there was no pandemic and we could actually have people over. In the future, like in 2023, when we're allowed to be sociable again and see our friends, got him this buzz game. And I thought the little things were pretty funny players with spotify drink once players with apple music drink twice and work on loving yourself more <laughs> i laugh so hard because i have apple mu <laughs> music so i just i thought that was funny and i mean player with the hottest dad drinks and you like vote it just i don't know i feel like this would be fun we don't really have any adult games i was gonna do cards against humanity but i know a lot of our friends have that and i don't think they all have this so i'm thinking when it's not just Trevor and I and we have other people over and we want to like a variety of card games, one of them can bring Cards Against Humanity and we can have this one. So I got him that. These, these card games are expensive. I was like, what the heck? But I don't know. I just got so excited. This is like one year that I can actually kind of go out. I saved so much money, you guys. I sold so much stuff during this pandemic to be able to buy gifts for people. I'm just excited. So for Kale, I showed you guys the build your own stuff. He is going to love these. I wish they had more because I definitely would have gotten a bunch more. These were $3 each, so not bad, but he's really into building. So I got him that. I got him two pairs of socks and this is what I'm most excited about that I found. I got pretty much one in every part of his age, but they had these books for a dollar. And I'm so, okay, so they have, <laughs> I'm so excited. They have the space and solar system one. My son loves everything about space, but they're just fun, interactive books. But they have, was that Trump? No. <laughs> I almost returned it. Don't hate me. I don't like Biden or Trump, so I just, I was, 
like not going to <laughs> they're just like really cool stuff for they had different age groups this one is science projects it has like actual lab work that he can do and i thought it would be cute something we could do to gather it has actual experiments so like a magic balloon and emerald city pennies groovy globs it just has a bunch of lab experiments in this book and i thought that was so cute he'll love that because he's always talking to me about doing things at home that he's done in his science class so i think having a book that we can kind of follow together would be fun this one i got rhyme time if you know my son he's really big into rhyming things animals around the world he's really into animal books like at the library that's what he buys is books about reptiles and dinosaurs and he did like a little report on cheetahs he loves cheetahs and leopards and all sorts of like iguana like yeah like i said reptile type things so thought this would be cute for him then i got a cursive practice one and i got this one specifically because i write in cursive a lot a lot of my family writes in cursive like we don't typically print a lot of things and he's always saying that he's having a hard time reading it because it's in cursive he does okay but i think if he could write it and read it as he's writing it it would be easier for him to read the stuff that the rest of us write and I don't think they teach cursive anymore I think it's important to know how to write in cursive and how to read it so I got him that and then this one the last one that I got measure and cook math workbook so it helps with math but you guys know I told you before my son loves to cook he loves to cook with me we love watching cooking and baking shows together so I just thought that this was really really cute it has like little recipes that he can make oh my gosh i'm so in love scrambled eggs and cheese pancakes turkey and cream cheese rolls speedy mac and cheese like what a find in the dollar section tacos oh my gosh he's going to love he's going to love this i'm so happy that i found these books I don't know i just like what a great stocking stuffer for only a dollar and i got him as much as i could find there were so many and i didn't go through all of them but i went through a majority of them and i felt like he would love those the most that i saw now it's noon i'm gonna go home and have lunch but of course before i get home i'm going to make a stop it would not be a car vlog with me if i didn't go here let me see how many of you know where I'm going. I'm back on CD. Little boy, child, this picture price. Comfort in I'm not cocky, so TV. Yeah, it took me six hours to count a meal exactly. I'm accurate with the cheese. Yeah, the real map is been fitting your knowledge. The guys, all I need. You know, I alone could probably keep Sonic alive during this pandemic. I'm just saying. Now, I feel like there are worse things that I could be addicted to, like crack. But here I am. All I ask is for a cherry vanilla Coke daily. Yes. You know what we love? We love a woman who is true and loyal to the end and I will always be loyal to Sonic. So I'm probably gonna end the video here because when I get home after I eat lunch with my fam bam, I am probably going to take a very long and beautiful nap. If you watch to the end, let me know that you watched it till the end. And I love you guys so much for sticking around with me. And you all mean a lot to me. Hope you all have a great rest of your Saturday. And if you haven't visited Sonic today, do that. Let them know that you're there because of me. And see if they'll give me some sort of like, I don't know, promo deal or like a free subscription. What? Subscription. Free drink every day for a year i don't know something because i feel like i deserve it after you know keeping their business alive whatever you know just just put my name out there see if sonic you know appreciates me or not but i love you guys so much okay bye